If you've got some Lee and Lee wireless fans and the RGB lighting sequence is a bit weird and is going in the wrong direction or is perhaps passing from one group of fans to the next but not in the right order and backwards or just completely wrong and looking weird like I have in this build, then stick with me because I'm going to show you some really easy fixes to sort it out so you can end up with a build that looks more like this where the lighting effect is passing logically from one group to the next to the next to the next and in the right direction so it looks a lot more satisfying. This is really easy to pull off and it just requires some tweaks within Lee and Lee's L-Connect software. Now for this demonstration I'm using the quick sync lighting settings and I'm using the runway effect with just a couple of different colors and you'll see it's got that W marker noting that it's for the wireless fans. So apply that and put zero speed on it so it's very slow so we can easily see what's going on. Now in the initial setup you should have gone to this L wireless sync setup options in here and bound the various different fans in your system to the controller. You can click on the little identify icon on the right hand side to basically show you which group is where. So they'll light up yellow so you can easily see where they are in the system and figure out the order. It might be that they're a bit all over the place to begin with. So bind them in the order that you actually want them in. You can unbind them and then rebind them is one solution to that and do it basically in the order that you want. So essentially look at which group is lit up and then click on it in that order that you want it to appear in the case and how you want the sequence of lighting to go through. So this is pretty straightforward to do but you can rejig it if necessary if you want to change it in the future. Then you'll see obviously you can adjust and apply the lighting effect but from here what I'd suggest is if you're having issues with the lighting going in the wrong direction for example from one particular group of fans as I've had basically one was going backwards and I couldn't initially work out how to sort it. What you need to do instead is to go to a different setting which is actually via the standard lighting page. So under the wireless fan utility section down the bottom you'll see there's a button called light sequence setting. You can access this from the overall settings in L-Connect. But in here you'll see there's a little box with two different arrows pointing in different directions. Clicking on this essentially just changes the direction of the lighting on that group of fans. So if you've got one group of fans that's being problematic because the lighting is going the opposite way to what it should be, you can just click on that and that will then change the direction. From here you can also reposition the fans if you want to. So rather than rebinding them, you can grab on the little bit on the right hand side here and then just drag it into the place you want it to be so that it will then be set in a different position so you can easily do that as well. Combination of these two things should allow you to then reposition the fans and the lighting in the software so that then the lighting effects go in the direction you want them to passing from one fan to the next in a much more satisfying way and hopefully going in the right direction now and then you'll end up with a nice looking build as I have here with the Lee & Lee Mini V2 which you can see is very satisfyingly at passing that lying around the case. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, check out the links in the description to more related videos, including the review of this case. And thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.